What's up, y'all? Appreciate y'all tuning in. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at, uh, this is a figure that I've actually had for a while now, and like I've just been kind of going through and opening some of my stuff that I was keeping in box, and now that I've got job about a couple weeks ago or about a month ago, I just feel like it's the right time to, to pull Bib out, so I'm going to be taking a look at him today. He's got three accessories, three little cups that I think come with another cantina set. Um, pretty cool figure. You know, he's going to... This this figure is um victim of the traffic cone, and meaning that they this instead of soft because they decided to do his robes with uh hard sculpted plastic, so not a big deal because in Return of the Jedi he's pretty much standing next to Jabba the entire time anyways, but in Book of Boba Fett he actually does gain weight and he ends up sitting in the throne, yada yada yada. If you haven't seen Book of Boba Fett, definitely go check it out. There's some good things and bad things, but. We'll get this box spin so y'all can check it out. This green is probably one of my favorite in the Black Series. Uh, this green represents the subline for the Return of the Jedi. And he's number eight, as you can see, in the Return of the Jedi line. Now, the the when I was looking at this figure when I first got it, it looked a little extra blue for some reason. And I was a little nervous about that. But he's just such a crucial part. I figured, if anything, there's probably somebody on YouTube who did a, like, a painting tutorial where I could make him look more pink. But... Um, as time goes on, I'm, I'm kind of like starting to see the pink, pink, starting to see the pink peek through. And I don't think it's quite as blue as I initially thought at first, but, um, I will, I'm gonna go ahead and get him out of the box and check him out. So here's Bib and all his hauntingness out of the box. He's pretty scary to look at. He's a rough looking twee look. So not only is he an iconic character and part of Return of the Jedi, but he's also an alien species. He's a Twi'lek, so um, the leg could look nice. And, and now that I have it out of, the, out of the box, the blue, the blue isn't as bad as I thought. I wish. I, however, I do wish that he was more. His skin had a more like pinky, fleshy tone to it. It looks more of like a pale white. Um, and in the movie, he really has more of a pink color to, to my eyes, anyways. But other other than that, that's just a nitpick. He looks great. The face sculpt is awesome. His uh, Leku is very nicely sculpted the way it wraps around and his costume looks he looks this is dead on how he looks in Return of the Jedi so the blue kind of like under under robe under garments and the pants and the brown robe now I will say like I'm not not a huge fan of the traffic cone but at the same time for this figure I really don't care all that much because in Return of the Jedi like I said he's pretty much standing next to Jabba the whole time and walking up the stairs to talk to Luke when he comes into after he chokes the Gamorrean guards. So, it, I, you know, not a big deal to me. But that being said, not a big I'm not a big fan of hard plastic. I'd rather have soft goods because the vintage collection version looks freaking awesome and it has soft goods. Don't know why they couldn't do that for the Black Series, but whatever. Again, nitpicking. That being said, the hard plastic is very nicely sculpted. And it looks really good. Looks very got a good good flow to it. it got some uh, nice sway and wrinkles and folds in it. But overall, pretty nice. Man, I like what they did with the fingers. Got some yellow on the nails and different kind of long fingers and just really freaky alien hands, man. So it's cool. Um, so it's awesome to have this character, Ben Fortuna, because he's such an iconic pork like I've said multiple times. And just any time there's an alien. Or a droid, man. I'm pretty much gonna. I'm pretty much gonna pull my wallet out and tell, tell you to take my money. So let me. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a look at the articulation and get some closer look at the paint and stuff. So here are the cups. I, need, I really need to get like some tweezers or something. So it is what it is. It's literally just just a cup, plain white cup. Here's the other one. Nice sculpting on this one. A little bit of paint around there on the on the lip of the cup. Also, all it out, and then this is the last cup. Also, cool little sculpt for this one too. It's the bottom. Got a little. It's hollowed out as well. And here is Bib. And getting to, whoa, where you going? Getting a close look at the face. The eyes are really nicely done. This photo reel for the Black Series is just, it's just come such a long way and it does so much for the figures, man. 
That's a really nice sculpt in his Leku right here. Very nice face sculpt, head sculpt. Got that blue all around, kind of like a blue wash going on them. Nice sculpting right here. Got some nice yellow on the nails. Looks awesome, man. Very freaky alien hands. Nice sculpt on the hands as well. I'm sculpting on the, his little gauntlet right there, his little bracer. Nice sculpting on the chest here. Some nice detail. Goes down to the robes. Yeah, it looks really nice, man. You get into the legs here. And I did actually did, I, I watched a review on this guy because I thought I had seen these legs before, but I didn't, and I I don't own the figure. These are actually dried in Boss's legs, but I seen them and I was like, these legs might be reused and like, what what better reuse than like so a character like this who's got a long drapey robe and you can hide them, so not really a big deal at all. But these are um, it is aggravating to get get under there though. But these are actually are Dryden Voss's legs and he was a character out of um the Solo movie. But they are double jointed pinned, so you can get way below ninety. For I, I'm actually a fan of these knees. I don't mind pens, but for some people it does look a little jonky. And I will say the the new single joints without the pens do look cleaner. They are nicer. Not really a whole lot of ankle articulation here. But I just seen the shoes and I was like that these. I think like this is another character's legs, but and I couldn't put my finger on it because I don't own the figure. But these are dried embosses, like I said. I think I was watching uh, Mike Case's review on it. So he's he's got that uh, podcast, The Black Series Cantina, with his buddy Zach. Pretty cool, pretty cool show. I enjoy it. And this got it just the whole road just pegs in right here. So and you actually have to really pull that out of the way to get his arms to a full T, but they do come to a full T. You can get them out there, but this you can't really peg that back down. So, and there's no butterflies. Bib has no butterflies, just a single single joint. But he does, he doesn't, can't get quite to 90. Let me get this photo. There we go. Can't get quite to 90. That's about just because of the sculpt. But he does have swivel at the elbow and his hands do turn around. And we have two horizontal hinges, one on the left hand, or that's the right hand, and then one on the left hand as well. So two horizontal hinges, no big deal. So just peg this back in. The other side is the exact same. All right. So yeah, and then getting down to the legs. Like I said, I don't own Dryden Voss, so I don't know. But these double pin legs, you know, you can get good knee articulation, get a full split. So and now if you can move all this hard plastic robe, he could kick out a decent amount. So, obviously don't want to warp the plastic though. But other than that, man, just some nitpicks. And then I wish that this was soft goods. I think it would have been better executed. This is a, a nicely sculpted figure. Very nice sculpt and it's unique. So, yeah, man. Not, not, much, not much else to say about this figure, but... Like I said, he's an iconic, iconic part of Return of the Jedi, and you gotta have him. He was Jabba's right hand man. Then ends up actually actually taking over Jabba's palace after he perishes on his sail barge, after Luke, Luke and Leia pretty much blow it up. So yeah, all, pretty pretty cool figure, man. I I, I enjoy it. And I didn't really show ab crunches. It's not really it's not really much to go over, man. Like it's not like you're gonna be putting Bib into a whole lot of different dynamic poses, like lunging poses. But he does have. Some head tilt, he can look up and down a little bit, not a lot. He can turn sideways a little bit. Obviously, the Leku is late Leku, Leku, whatever however you pronounce it, get in the way, but he does have some a little bit of head tilt. So, 
Yeah. A little little side by side comparison action. Got Bib next to Java here. Give y'all some idea of scale. They look awesome next to each other. And this, I, I had this, this is kind of just where I had the room to put Java right now. I'm kind of, I want to work to have like a New Hope, a Return of the Jedi, like kind of maybe have some movie going by, going by movie or whatever. But for now, this is the side-by-side -side comparison y'all get. And here's our second side-by-side -side comparison. We got C-3PO and R2-D Toa. No, I'm just joking. R2-D2 next to Bib. Now I got the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Stormtrooper. Here's Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. And now we're doing a little timeline bounce. And I got the Clone Wars Season 7 Mall next to Bib now. Honestly, this mall is probably my maybe my favorite figure in the entire Black Series line. And here next to Bib now is the uh, the Bad Batch version of Cad Bane from, from Bracca. And to end off the side-by-side -side comparisons, I have Princess Leia in her Bausch disguise. When she infiltrates Jabba's palace and attempts to rescue Han. Well, y'all, this wraps up this review. Thank y'all for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Leave me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I hope y'all have a good day or night whenever y'all watching this. May the Force be with you. D101 guy. Oh, my.